All right, so welcome back to another review. This time, we're going to take a look at the brand new, well, brand newish, Arya Stealth V3 and compare them to the HD 800 and 800S by Sennheiser. Okay, so by this point, you all know I chose the Arya Stealth over the Arya V2s. But here's an interesting thought. People tout the HD 800 line and the Arias for having some similar features, including a grand soundstage, energetic treble, and massive ear cups at a Summit Phi price. Well, if that is true, which of these two or three should you consider? The German Titans or the Planar Per Sister? What makes them so different then? Let's jump right into it. By the way, since there's not a lot of space here, I'm going to go ahead and just put these on the side. I'll just keep referring to them in the video so that it looks cleaner on screen. So as for contents, there's quite a bit of difference here, but let's mention the most important aspects. The cables. Now with the Arias, you get a short, stiff, fourth inch cable. That's, that's pretty much it. With the 800S, however, you'll receive a very long fourth inch cable and a very long 4.4 millimeter Pentacon cable. While these cables aren't quite that comfortable either, they're definitely better quality than the Arias stock cable, hands down. Now let's jump into the build quality and comfort. Another really distinct feature to discuss here, apart from being open back and having large cups, they really couldn't be any more different. The Arias feature a suspension strap type design, while the HD800S feature a more traditional headband. While both feature a lot of plastic in the build, the HD800 and S definitely feel like they're made of a more premium plastic. The Arias use a leather-like suspension strap and feature thick hybrid pads, while the HD800S feature a microfiber-like headband and pads. Also something to note, the Arias feature a three, dual 3.5mm cable plug system, while the 800S feature a high-end connector system that may be a tad more expensive to acquire after market cables for. Now regarding comfort, the Arias suspension strap design makes them have a stronger clamp force than the HD 800S. And you know what? I really like that. I actually do. Neither of these are necessarily heavy headphones, but... Because the Arias clamp onto your head a little more, it feels very reassuring. Like I can, you know, look around with these to the side, walk around the house, and, and these, they're just, they're not coming off. Unless you do some really aggressive stuff, in which case, probably don't be wearing Arias. And thanks to those thick pads, that pressure is greatly reduced, by the way. Now the 800S, on the other hand, barely clamp onto your head. For me, this makes the weight of the headphone more apparent, especially since you feel like you can't really move around without these just sliding off of your head. That said, this part's really about preference. I can use both of these without issues, but I can use the Arias for longer without needing to take a break. So to summarize, Aria construction, meh, but passable. HD800 construction, semi-stellar. Aria Comfort Clampy but Comfy, HD 800 Comfort Loose but Comfy. Now let's jump into amplification. So on the THX AAA 789, I run the 800S at 1030 on Gain 1 in Balanced. I also run the Aria's at 1030 on Gain 1 in Balanced. As for the Single Ended, I run the 800S at roughly 11 on Gain 2. I run the Aria's at around 1030 on Gain 2. So there is a teensy little bit of difference here. That said, these Arias are significantly easier to drive than the Aria V2s. I remember the Aria V2s, it'd be roughly like 1 p.m. Or, well, shut up, 1. Whereas here, you're getting closer to like 10, 30, 11-ish. So, pretty good on them. Sound. So for the following, all testing will be performed at stock frequencies. No EQ will be discussed until the end of this review. Let's begin with the good old bass. Alright, so right off the bat, the Arias have a more powerful and impactful bass response by comparison. But of course they do, you know, they're planars, that's, that's, what that, that's what's expected of them. Same story with bass guitars, the Arias bring them forward a bit more and give them a teensy bit of extra warmth and growl. Drums, also more impactful on the Arias, they do sound a tad, like, just solid on the HD 800S, but both Sounded fantastic to me though. And by the way, I should mention, whenever I say HD800 or HD800S, unless I say otherwise, I'm referring to both units, okay? Good. So electronic bass goes pretty similarly here. Planar drivers are simply more capable of producing some quality bass, 
With the Arias, you get that extra rumble and extra detail in the note you're listening to. While the 800S is and 800s sub bass extension might be fantastic and may even compare to the reach of the arias there's simply no denying that the arias keep the note audible and detailed for farther in the low end overall the hd 800s have a lighter yet also enjoyable bass response while the arias take it up a little and produce a still respectful response it's kind of like distinguishing between you know a clap and a slight thump, you know. There's just a just a little more meat to it, you know. It's it's different. Just a little different. Mids. One thing I will point out here: the HD 800 and S offer a more natural sounding timbre. To better describe this, the Arias tend to sound a bit too uh, a bit too hyped and metallic here. Not enough to ruin the experience, especially this time around. Just enough to say it's like a. You know, it's it's got a flavor. It's definitely not like neutral, no flavor, vanilla. No, no, no. It's it's got a little chocolate sprinkle in there, a little bit. But hey, you know, it's not like I said. It's not quite vanilla. Now, neither one of these are mid kings. Just an FYI. Neither will position vocals like they're right next to you, but the way they go about it is a bit different. The 800 and 800s are extremely capable of separating the vocals from the rest of the instruments. A little more capable than the Arias. Like I mentioned, the HD 800 aren't exactly mid forward. The treble stands in front of the mids a bit, but it certainly doesn't detract from the mids at all. The Arias in comparison, I uh, just don't quite, quite sound as clean. So let's bring up an example here, Rasputin by Boney M. So this track is definitely not as clear in the vocals as I'd like it to be. It's not, it's, it's a little recessed. Because of this, these vocals can really disappear if paired with a mid-recessed headphone. So with an 800S, I can still enjoy the vocals and understand them perfectly well. On the Arias though, it can be a bit harder to understand the vocals because the lows and highs may overpower them a, just a bit. Now generally speaking, the timbre of instruments like brass instruments sound more laid back and relaxed on the HD 800, the 800S being a tad more forward and accurate and more bright slash forward on the Arias. And yeah, the Arias more energetic take on brass instruments and the like happens to be closer to real life than the 800 and 800S. Hey, listen, they show you the truth, whether you like it or not. Let's put it that way. Tre bowl. Here's a topic that may interest you the most. All three of these over there are known to be on the brighter side of things. So how do they compare? Well, the HD 800 and S definitely have the softer high end, while the Aria's planar magnetic technology really pushes that detail and energy like just right into your ear holes. Really, really helps you like it. It penetrates you. I'm not sorry. Thankfully, this is part of where this new stealth revision fixes some of the V2's downsides. A bright headphone with tech that makes it brighter is definitely a recipe for disaster. Thanks to this new darker tuning though, you now get that bright and metallic timbre you've come to expect from a high fi mend headphone with just the right amount of shimmer. Since the 800 and S are dynamic drivers, they're not quite as energetic. If you listen to the, if you listen to the Arias for a long time and then swap over to the 800 and 800 S, they would almost sound laid back for a brief second. <laughs> Make no mistake though, they're definitely still bright leaning. Now the presentation of the high end is definitely different because the aforementioned differences in tech used. The Arias will give you more of an in your face intensity while the 800S will give you a more relaxed and spacious vibe. So right off the bat, the 800S is the headphone that's closest to neutral, so the darkest in most areas. The HD 800 are not far behind it, but as we all know, it can definitely still show a little extra bit of glare and shimmer here and there. Still, not enough to hinder it entirely. Then comes the Arias, definitely showing a little bit of that sibilance, not because it's treble heavy, but because of its metallic sound characteristic. I am glad to say though, it is actually quite easy to get used to this level of sibilance, and in many cases brings out a lot of extra little detail from certain tracks. I actually do enjoy upper percussive instruments on the Arias. They are forward and can sometimes be on the harsh side of things. Well. In case you've never heard a live drum set in person, and that includes upper percussion, the drums, kick drums, everything, the whole shebang. If 
if you've never heard one of these in person, you'd know that you know somewhat harsh is pretty much what they sound like. So I appreciate the honesty here. Sound, stage, and imaging. When it comes to positioning, the Arias give off a slightly opposite effect than the HD 800 and 800S. While the Sennies take a step back and push the sound farther away from you to enhance the sound stage, the Arias do a bit of a zoom in by pushing the sound closer to you. While I can appreciate both of these effects, I'm not the biggest fan of the Arias implementation. Here's the thing about that zoom in. Imagine staring at a stunning 8K display at like uh, your, your Best Buy or something, right? From a closer distance i mean like you're you're a little too close to it right you're looking at it and you're saying oh wow this is amazing i mean look at the detail look at the colors it look at that frog that that frog you're amazed by what you see it's just vivid detail it's just so nice right but you're still a little too close to the screen which means that you can't really see the edges of the screen like it leaves out the outermost details well same thing here while it's great to experience the intensity and richness of the majority of sounds, it may leave out a bit of the outermost details within a track. So what I'm trying to say is that the Arias possess fantastic imaging, but some of it feels just a, a bit cut out. Like in, another example, imagine a plate. Imagine you're just overloading that with food, like such delicious food. You've got your favorite dishes in there, you're throwing in everything, and it's fantastic, but you're overloading the plate, some of it's falling off of the sides, and now you don't have all your food because some of it's spilled on the floor. That's exactly this. It's your favorite foods, but you can't have all of it because the plate just isn't big enough. The plate just doesn't let you hold everything. Anyway, the HD 800 and 800S have the wider soundstage, and believe me, it will be noticeable. Though the Aria still have a slightly taller soundstage by comparison. While the 800 soundstage is quite tall, I can sense where it ends, like I can I can sense it. I cannot do that with the Arias. The, these just go infinitely up, infinitely, infinitely down. Now let's get to some notes and observations. So truth be told, I really, I, I really just don't use EQ anymore. I got tired of having to reinstall Peace every three weeks after every Windows update. It's annoying. This means I haven't applied any nor tried any on the Aria Stealth yet, but Here's what I used to use on the HD 800 though. You know the deal, just reduce some of that sibilance from the peak and elevate that sub bass. Everything else, just, just keep it natural. I liked it, but not enough to struggle with EQ all over again, just nah. As for the 800S, and they're over there, very similar mods going on except to a lesser degree. So even less necessary, if you ask me. Now let's weigh in with the iFi signature. This thing really improves the frequency response of the hi-fi minarias by warming up the treble just a bit. Still bright and metallic, just not quite as sibilant anymore. Yes, more of the pros, or rather, they let you keep all the pros, but they eliminate a lot of the cons. That said, they'll still be more intense than the 800 and 800S, just figured I ought to bring it up. And by the way, as far as iFi is concerned, I actually got a set of the iFi hi fi Min signature, DAC and AMP, uh, sent to me. It arrived a few days ago, and yes, I will be reviewing that, so do keep an eye out for that one. Conclusion, and sorry I can't fit all of these into the, you know, picture, but whatever. So there we have it. As expected, there is no clear winner here, just another tough choice to make, as what is expected from typical Summit Phi comparisons. If you want the ultrasound stage, the cleanliness, the edge in imaging, and a more laid-back presentation, go for either of the Sennheisers, really. If you happen to acquire an 800S that feels comfortable to you, grab it over the HD 800. They'll have peak imaging capabilities, a smoother treble, a warmer response, and an overall cleaner sound. Trust me, it puts the mmm in Summit Phi. Otherwise, the HD 800 are still an excellent headphone for like half the price, really. Now, if you want the punchier and deeper bass response, the zingier treble, the aggressiveness, and the intensity, go for the Arias. I'll leave it off with this. Personally, I prefer the 800 and 800S with rock, metal, classical, soundtracks, and acoustic tracks more. I prefer the Arias with EDM, drum and bass, hip hop, dubstep, and house tracks. So that'll give you a pretty good idea. Anyways, that's where I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope this video helped your purchasing decision, and I will see you in the next video. Okay, ciao.